a question about lawmakers who traveled to Afghanistan. Sure. Was the White House aware of those members of Congress that traveled to Kabul? Uh, we were not aware when they were en route, no. What's, your, what's the White House's reaction to that trip? Was, was it beneficial, or what's the White House's reaction? Well, our, our guidance continues to be to all American citizens, including elected officials, uh, this is not the time to travel to Afghanistan. And our focus, our objectives, our resources need to be uh, laser focused on uh, evacuating Afghan uh, partners, evacuating American citizens, and that's uh, best done in the hands of the Department of Defense and State Department professionals who are on the ground. One more. Uh, the 31st, of course, is the deadline for the drawdown, but when do the gears shift from evacuation mission to withdrawing troops? Well, I noted a little bit earlier that the President was uh, briefed this morning uh, on contingency plans and continues to have optionality should he decide to uh, change plans, even as we are uh, on track to complete our mission by August 31st. Uh, I would also note that my DOD colleagues have uh, put out some information about steps that are being taken. So uh, as we've made consistently clear, commanders on the ground are empowered to make any adjustments as they see fit, when they see fit. Um, that includes changes to the footprint. To that end, they confirmed uh, last night, I believe it was, that the, of the departure from Afghanistan of several hundred U.S. troops. Uh, these troops represent a mix of headquarters staff, maintenance, and other enabling functions that were scheduled to leave and whose mission at the airport was complete. It does not have an impact on our mission at hand. Go ahead. 